Hi, good morning. Paulette with Back to Basics Mom here. Say, I have a haul video for you today. I have a couple of different orders that have come in. I'm still waiting for a couple more, but I'm tired of waiting. And that's another story for another day. But I decided to come out my backyard again since it was such a beautiful Minnesota morning. We've had some really hot weather. We've had some really crazy, rainy, stormy weather. Luckily, most of that missed me in my part of the state, but in the southern part of the state down by where my mother-in-law lives, they're having some pretty bad flooding and stuff, so uh, I feel pretty fortunate. Uh, we didn't lose any trees this time around. A lot of my friends and neighbors did, but we've lost a lot in the past, so I was pretty thankful because um, we already have a lot of dead trees that need to come down, so I was really happy they didn't come down in the storm. So I decided to come out here, bring my iced cold pressed coffee that I did a video about the other day. I've been living off this stuff all summer. I just love it. And this cup that I got from Joann's has just been amazing. I sat, I brought this when I went to town last week and it was a super hot day and I had it filled like this full with liquid and then ice and after four hours being out in the hot and the sitting in a hot car and all that, it still had ice cubes in it. And eight hours later, it still had a little tiny bit of ice in it, and it was still cold. So this is just, I love it. I got this one at Joann's. I did buy um, yesterday at Walmart because I was watching some reviews and stuff. I did buy the two of the Ozark ones from Walmart for my son and my husband because um, I had seen actually pretty good reviews on those um, as well. So if you've been waiting around to try out one of these metal vacuum sealed insulated cups, go for it. Um, I was, I had a lot of the acetate, um, acrylic, sorry, not acetate, acrylic, double walled with the straws and those are pretty good, but they fall and break and crack really easy. And my husband does not like the straw, so I got him this cup because it's got the sip. So anyway, I highly, highly recommend these mugs. So anyway, so my first bunch of stuff I have to show you today, I got um, Ellen Houston. I think that's how you say it. I got to look it up. I'll put a link below. Um, had a really great sale about a week or so ago. Um, it was like... 30% off everything in there. We ordered too much category. So I placed an order and it came packaged really nice. It came really fast. So I ordered um, a few things I don't normally order because I find them a little bit expensive. Um, and I'll tell you about that when I get to them. But because I placed, I don't even remember what the dollar amount was, I got a free stamp set so I got this for free um, so I thought it was cute I don't have any rainbow stamps so uh, it's got a sentiment that says you make me happy when skies are gray may you be as happy as a unicorn eating cake on a rainbow um, your true colors are beautiful like a rainbow and then um, so the first one I ordered I, was this witch shocker another mermaid stamp. I thought she was so cute. And then I was trying to hit that dollar mark for the free stamp. And so I was, like I said, I was shopping all the, the sale stuff, clearance stuff, whatever. And I saw these sticky googly eyes and I thought they were really fun. So I got those. Um, every time you order from Ellen, you get um, a little bit of, you get a little free gift anyway, no matter how much you order. So I got this little bit of ribbon. And then, again, I was trying to just hit that mark, so I decided to um, get some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. This is my first sequins from them. I really like this mix. What is it called? Wildflower mix. So, um, you get a nice amount, and it was a pretty good value. I don't remember exactly how much I paid, but I do know it was in their sale category. Um, I got this mermaid from Honey Bee Stamp which um, I like honeybee stamps, but I do find them to be a little bit pricey, so I was happy to see this in their sale category. Um, this next one was a, a new company to me. It's called Pink Ink. Oh, it's by Expression, Expression? The, the, the Impression Obsession. So I got this set of swan stamps. I thought it was really pretty. Um, 
One of the ones I was really searching for, and they it kept getting sold out on all the other sites, was a bunch of the Hero Arts from their June kit that they came out with. And this is not from their June kit, but this is another one. But I really like all their ocean-themed stuff, and um, I saw this one, and I just had to have it. I just thought it was gorgeous. So I got that. Oh, some more sequins. This one is called Fresh Garden Mix. I really thought this was pretty and looked like it would go good with fairy stuff. Um, I had been looking at this stamp set over on My Favorite Things, and it kept selling out. Um, but they had it on the Ellen Houston site. So I got that. It's got some great, great sentiments in there. And then another set. This is a large set from Honeybee. And it's another mermaid. But again, I, I do find their stamps to be a little on the spendy side. So when I can find them, I'll try to get you that without the glare, um, on sale, I like to do that. But you know me, I'm a bargain shopper anyway. I like my stuff, but I don't like to pay much for it. So... Um, my sister-in-law and I always have that discussion. She can't understand. She's like, you love to save money, but you always spend more than me. And I'm like, yeah, but I get more for my money. So anyway, it's, you know, six of this, half a dozen of the other. Um, and then I got this all to new set because I really, really liked it. I love the sentiments on it. Um, so I thought that was really, I'm not much into the feathers, um, but I really like the, the sayings, follow your dreams. Happy New Dreams, uh, the distance between dreams and reality is called action. Um, yeah, so I like that, and I like the stars, and um, be a dreamer, so I thought it was a great set. So that is everything I got from Ellen Houston, and that's just Ellen, um, just go to ellenhouston.com, and again, I will put a link underneath in the descriptions, uh, so you can go check her out. She has great sales. Get on the mailing list, because they have great great sales. Now, if you don't want to be on the mailing list for everyone, I do suggest you sign up and follow like Jennifer McGuire or Amy over at Prairie Paper and Ink because they are really great about um, posting all the sales that are going on when they're um, going on and often on the holiday weekends, um, they have more sales and stuff. So I follow both um, Jennifer McGuire and in the R over Curry Paper and Ink, so I can catch anything I missed in my own email. So then, yesterday in the mail, I got my very first um, stamp of the month from the Stamps of Life. So I got this little card that comes with it. So yeah, I got these little uh, foxy guys, which I don't have any foxes, so I'm kind of excited for those they're not really my thing but I think they are super cute and those will be fun to color up and make some cards so I got that that just came yesterday and then a few days ago I got um, I belong to a couple of I think I've talked about this before I belong to a couple of Facebook groups for um, inspiration a couple of groups for buying and selling and um, on one of those groups, I don't remember which one it was, this one gal had posted that at this crafty website, they had the Distress Oxide inks on sale, like, super inexpensive. Like, I think, do I have my, hang on, I might have my receipt. Um, I think I only paid like four, hang on, I'll tell you, $2.49. So I got, ended up with 12 of the Distress Oxide inks, so which I had not had any of the Distress Oxide inks yet, so I'm really excited to try them. So I got Evergreen Bow, Tattered Rose, and these retail like 5 or $7, I think. I'll, I'd have to look that up. I'll put a little burp on the video, but at $2.50 I got these for. So I was super excited. Excuse me, I got to scratch my nose. Um... So let's see, I got Hickory Smoke, uh, Gathered Twigs, oh wait a minute, this, oh I messed up, this one is not an oxide, the Gathered Twigs is not, this is not an oxide so I'll probably be reselling this one, 
because I have all the minis of the regular inks, so that was a mistake on my part. Um, okay, so back to the oxides. I got blue, uh, Blueprint Sketch, Bundled Sage. I haven't even opened these yet, so because I was waiting to show you guys. Uh, Mermaid Lagoon, one of my favorites. Shaded Lilac. All the rest I did okay. I got the oxides. Um, aged mahogany. Uh, carved pumpkin. Let's see. Squeezed lemon. And forest moss. Now I think, I think altogether there are 24 of these on the market now. I'm not sure. I really can't remember. Um, but I thought $2.49 was an amazing, amazing deal. And I have got to tell you this gal at, um, oh, what's the name? What's the name? I think it's called My Rusty Crown. Yep, My Rusty Crown. She's out of California. Her name is Martina. I ordered these on um, a Wednesday. I had them by Friday. Like, I was in shock especially since I've been having shipping issues with some other companies I've been ordering for. I literally had them in three days. I was just in awe. So let me get the rest of the stuff out here that I ordered. So um, they had some kind of obscure companies that I had never heard of before. So this one is JBS Collections. The I can't read the lady's name. Uh, Janeki Brinkman I can't read that I'm sorry if I'm murdering your name and you're watching this I will figure out how to say that and I will um, correct that but anyway this is the stamp set I just thought I don't have anything quite like this and I thought it was super super pretty so that's hopefully you can see the name of the company so that's that and then this one I was slightly disappointed in because I thought it was much bigger but that's my fault for not reading the description completely but this is a Tim Holtz and I thought it was a large background but it's like an ATC size um, so it's like you know two and a half by three or something like that so but it's still super cute I like it um, I love this my husband was in the Navy and he was a sub guy um, so they had this in their sale category and I just thought it was awesome dive into adventure wishing you a happy birthday deepest thanks um, plus I love the diver and the all the ocean stuff but yeah I like the submarine a lot and then I got um, one paper pack this bow bunny um, winter playground collection and I thought I don't know if I can open it because I don't have a pair of scissors out here but um Let's see if I can, I can muscle it if you can bear with me just a moment. I didn't, I didn't think to do this before I came outside and I don't have all my trusty tools right next to me like I do when I'm down in my craft room. All right, I got it open. So, um, let's see if I can, they are not double-sided. But I just thought they were so pretty. I loved the color palette. Um, really nice. So you get 36 pages. Um, I can't, it looks like at least two of each design. Maybe three. I can't tell exactly. One, two, three. At least three of each design. So I thought that was really nice. And then I got my first set of stamps from um, Heartfelt Creations. Now, I've seen these guys at the stamp expos and stuff, but most of their stuff has never really appealed to me personally, my personal taste. Their stuff is beautiful, just not my personal taste. But I saw this set online, 
and I just loved it and it was a really good price um so that shows you in black and white kind of what you get and then I even got the dies to go with it because um it looked like it had the cutouts for the window and I can do that on my skin and cut but it it can be kind of a pain sometimes so um I'm gonna open this if I can real quick and confirm that it does oh what's nice about it is you can put it in there if you want but you don't have to they're separate so I don't know you can probably barely see those but they have the little separate pieces that you can put in there so you don't have to cut those out but you can so okay I like that I like that a lot um and these stamps are super nice hang on one second sorry about that it's summer and kids are always hungry and didn't know they didn't know I was out here recording a video so sorry about that but um these are the stamps here I'm gonna take one off um they're really nice red rubber with the cling mount on the back um but they're super nice quality at least that's what they look like to me so yeah I'm really happy with that let me get that slid back into the box all right. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, if I can get it put back together. Okay, and that's the dies that go with that. And then I got I got a couple of Tim Holtz things. I got this birch embossing folder because I thought it looked cool and it was a really good price. I think it was only like a dollar ninety nine. Um, so I got that. And then I don't normally buy the Sizzix Tim Holtz dies a lot because they're kind of spendy. Excuse me, I take another drink. But these were on special. And I've been wanting the postage stamp edged dies for a while. So you got those. <clears throat> and then I had seen um, Cat Scrappiness had a similar set to this. Theirs was a little bit more pronounced, the kind of deckle rough edge. And I was like, eh, you know, I don't need those. Well, then I saw somebody do a project with them, and I was, like, oh, blown away. So these were the same price, and I was already ordering from the site and whatnot. So I was like, ah, I'll try these out. But they were a really, really good price. And then also in their sale category, they had, um, this is a new Tim Holtz product that I kind of wanted to try. Um, the distress resist spray so I've seen some really neat techniques and I really like the resist technique so I thought I'd you know it was a really good deal so I thought I'd try that out and then this next one I did not order this I think she must have thrown this in as a free gift because I know I didn't order them um, the these are the thin lit dyes words um, let's see what is it actually called I don't even know wish and thanks I'm not sure but it's got the word and it's got the the outline so it's really nice and like I said I did not order this I did not pay for this it was not on my receipt so that is anything I paid for so I think she threw this in as a free gift so yeah it's the words and the bubble I'm trying to find the ones that match up together so here's the bubble here's the one that it matches up with so you can do both so you have the outline you can probably see it a little better a little better and then they come apart so which you know i totally can do this in my scanning cut but it's nice to have these just for something quick um, I would not have ordered them, um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have them. They're a really, really nice addition to my supplies. Oops, lost one. Hang on. So that, that is everything I got in the last few days. Um, actually, if you, oh, no, I have one more thing to show you. Sorry. So I've been on a mission. I really, I did that um, in June, the 30-day coloring challenge on the daily marker 
um, Kathy Rakuzin, and I, I did not get to color every day, but I really did push myself, and I enjoyed coloring, and I decided I did need to, I've been wanting to expand my Copic collection um, for some time, but they're very expensive, and I had um, a fair amount of the Copic Chows, which are the smaller ones, um, hang on. They are smaller, but you can still, they're not, they don't advertise them as refillable, but you can refill them. Um, and I gotten those on a really good deal. Here, I'll show you what those look like. Being outside, I have ants on my box. Um, they look like this. And um, so they don't have the numbers on the top like the sketch markers do. But these are great. They're still the brush marker end. And then they have the chisel nib on the other side. And these are wonderful. And I had gotten a bunch on sale at Joanne Fabrics like two years ago. And they had them on sale for um, like $2.09 a piece, which these usually run about $4 or $4.99. So that was a fantabulous price. Lately, I've been looking for about nine months and I have not seen these go below $3.59 on the Joanne site. Still a really good price, especially if you're a beginner. Now... I did not have any of the sketch markers, which the sketch markers look like. Let me find you a pretty color. This is what the sketch markers look like. So they don't have as much writing on the barrel, but they do have the number and the name on the end, which is nice. So if you're storing them horizontally, which like you're supposed to, you can see. So I did not have any of these till a few weeks ago. Well, I found a set on eBay. Um, there was a few duplicates to colors I already had, but not many, but I knew I could probably sell them or give them to a friend. Um, but the average price averaged out to $3.10 per marker, and they were gently used, but these go full price for $7.99. A lot of times you can find them in stores for like $5.50 or $5.75. Um, the ones that I got off eBay, average price, they averaged out to $3.10 each. So I was like, that was a great price for me. And then I got a bunch off one of the Facebook groups the other day. Those were new, and the gal was selling them for $4 each, which still $4. I mean, it still cost me a pretty penny, but these are an investment. These are a lifetime investment because these are refillable. So... I jumped on it and there was a few I missed out on because somebody else claimed them before I did but I got quite a few and so now I have quite a few colors I'll show you what my collection looks like now so this I bought this box and I showed it in a haul from last week so this is my box now and I do have them rubber banded most of them the grays I don't but all the other colors I do have rubber banded into families just to help me out but this is now my Copic collection, and I'm really excited. Um, I really don't think I need much, many more colors. I might, I'm might. i going to go through and just look at my blending groups and see what I might um, want to add or whatever. But I really have a nice selection. Like, you know, these are all my E's. So for, you know beaches or skin tones or hair or whatever these is this is all my e um family so i'm oops some of them are falling out of the middle there oops gotta get tighter elastic on that but yeah so but the only thing i don't have much of is the oranges i do have a couple of yrs um so i do want one or two more of those and i don't have much for yellows um so I will want to add a few of those in, but otherwise, yeah, that is everything. I am going to the Stamp Expo this weekend. I'm not sure. Today's Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going Saturday or Sunday. It kind of depends on the weather. Um, my sister-in-law who's going with me, she lives on a lake, and she's like, I think it's supposed to rain one day. Can we go the rainy day so I can enjoy the lake on the sunny day? And I'm like, of course. Um, I don't have, and that's it's fine because we need to do some stuff around here. As you can see, my backyard is getting a little overgrown around the edges, so we need to tend to that. Um, yeah, so I got the one. 
mishap, thing I didn't mean to order, but that's okay. I can gift that or resell it. Um, I hope you enjoyed stopping by today. Thank you for listening to all my rambling. I had a good time hanging out. It's a gorgeous day out here. Probably going to get in the pool later. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please hit subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. Um, give me a thumbs up. And then, as I've talked about a few in my few of my last videos, Facebook has added that little bell symbol down there. So if you click on that, um, that will, Facebook, um, not Facebook, YouTube will alert you when I post new videos. So, which during the summer I do a lot more because I don't work um, at my job during the summer. So I've been trying to post a lot more and maybe get some stuff filmed ahead. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be starting a new, new, new job, not totally new job, same department, but a new role in my um, job come fall. So I'm excited about that. And so we'll see what kind of changes that brings about um, for me. Um, so yeah, again, thanks. Sorry about my rambling. Have a great day. I had a great time hanging out. Find something craft to do. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.